Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I want to do a quick video here, but before we get started, if you like this video, hit that like button. It tells YouTube that uh, to recommend the channel to other people who might be looking for similar kinds of videos. Squirrel Chaser 2000 in full action mode. What I want to do today is show you when it got real hot this summer, I moved all my avocado trees and containers under this bigger canopy of trees here I have on my property. And what that did is obviously shade it from the 115 plus degree temperatures. But what it did in the afternoons when we had, uh, and it's about noon right now, and you can see the shade, the shadows here. What it did is make these things grow for the sun, like they do in rainforests in the wild. When uh, an avocado drops off a tree, sits underneath the parent tree, sprouts, starts growing, and then grows towards the sun. So this is a charwill I have here that has just gone crazy. Uh, you can see all the new growth on it sitting here. You can see the filtered sunlight that it has, but it is just pushing a new leader here. And you can see how, another thing I wanna talk about, how even though they'll tie up a leader on a tree at a uh, nursery when it's potted up, the tree will sometimes come in here and grow its own main leader tree, and that's what this one's done. It's grown this big leader here that is taller than the main leader it was tied to, and now it's taken over as the main leader. But it's reaching for the sun, so I want to show you a couple other trees that I just pulled out of this area and put into full sun because we're getting into cooler temperatures and show you what those have done also. This tree here is a Carmen that I up-potted from the little five gallon pot that it came in. And initially was just a little bit taller than this wood, broken off piece of bamboo that was here. It was probably about this tall when I, right where the label is, I put that new label on. But you can see what this thing did in that same area where it wanted to grow towards the sun. It's now over six feet tall so I'm gonna say it in the three or four months since I bought it at Atkins Nursery in Fallbrook. Transplanted it into a better soil that you've seen videos on before. It has grown three feet, easily. Branched off, set another branch off here, this one here, and then this straight, straight up Carmen branch going here. And you can see it's pushing new growth. So what I did is I moved it into the sun now, and we're in the, 70 degree range now, maybe low 80s for the next three, four days, along with this reed doing the same thing, and this hass, they were all in that same area. So what they were doing was growing towards the sun when they were in the shade when it was super hot. Uh, behind it, I have my in-ground surprise tree, doing really well. But I wanted to do a quick video on what, uh, the, you know, the, the nature of the characteristics of these trees when they're put in, you know, underneath other trees like they would be in the wild and how they grow towards the sun. They want to get that canopy up into the sun. Please like, share, subscribe. We got some merch available now, t-shirts and hats. Check out theelsinorgardener.com for those. And we'll talk to you next time.